Hello, today I'm going to show you how to change your Spark plug on Skoda Fabia 1.2 liter petrol engine. As you can see, the Spark plug on the top of the engine. And the first thing you have to remove, you have to remove these clips. These clips that bring in the power to the Spark plug. And it's worth checking the clips mechanism when you have one out so you know how you install it with no issue removing is very easy with a flat screwdriver as you can see so once you have removed the three of them in this engine there is only three spark block because it is only three cylinder engine and just remove now the spark block coils by just pulling them out there is no screw or anything holding them whatsoever just this uh, rubber uh, squeezing them inside as you can see just pulling them out they will come out with you now with the ratchet <coughs> i think size 14 or 16 some of them it depends on which car you do but you will have that on your ratchet set anyway uh, put your ratchet and the, ex the tension so it will be long enough because the spark plug hole is quite deep and undo it normally anti-clockwise like any knot anti-clockwise until you undo the spark plug fully do some with the ratchet and then maybe you continue with your hand for a quicker result like like so this is the cameraman trying to bring the spark vlog inside as you can see from far away the spark of log inside the hole it's very simple job easy anyone can do it you don't need really a me mechanic background or anything if you follow what you see on this video you will be able to do it with no issue so now we still removing the spark plug one by one after we remove the power clip <coughs> I just showing you where they are what's the location how they look like inside with the torch so anyone can know what he's looking at continue undoing the spark plug and take them out do them like that one by one and then to take it out you need a piece of magnet or something like that because the hole is too deep or maybe any tools with a long nozzle it might do the job as well you just need something with a deep or long nozzle uh, long nose so you can catch the spark plug and bring it out I use a piece of simple magnet tool I bought for a couple of euro before so it's helping me in a situation like that if you have if you drop a screw or anything you can just pick it up very easy and now I'm just comparing the old with the new one just to understand how good is the gap the gap wasn't really bad really on the old one but i am doing a full surface so i rather change everything um three of them is cost 10 15 euro so i like to do the full surface and include them you don't have to do them in on every service you might skip two or three service and do on the third one also some depend on the car manual some of them 
they would recommend doing them on 40,000 kilometer or maybe 50 or maybe 30 whatever the car you doing but it's the easy job and it's cheap to do anyway so now we're doing the second one and baking it up uh, same way with the magnet tools I find it very helpful in a situation like that if you have a magnet bar like that yeah you pick it up like this <coughs> we still have one left the last one again with this magic magnet bar now we have them all out and now get ready to install the new one but I find some dirt around the hole some dirt and rust around the hole so I try to clean it you can just try to hover it with your hover both the smallest attachment you can so you can get as much deep as you could to extract any small um, flake in rust or any dust around the hole I try my best and I clean some even with the magnet bar it was some flake in rust around there and the magnet bar picked them up and then I clean it because you can see now it's reasonable clean before I could see some dust around and I was worried if the dust getting inside the hole so I clean it before I bought the new one now I'm ready to install the new spark plug I'm just taking them out now the box and make them ready to be handy and now put it like this put the sparkle block upside down like that on the ratchet in the ratchet and try to place it as fall but still I can catch it with the ratchet from inside and do it this time the clockwise screw it in tied it in with the hand first until you have enough with your hand and then we will tie all of them back with the ratchet when we finish the hand tight we do exactly same on the second and third one I'm really sorry about the shaking and the movement of the camera We're using a new camera but really maybe the old one we should keep the old one but we learn and I couldn't unfortunately I couldn't repeat the job again so I have to use this video so sorry about the shaking and the movement in the video but it is showing the, the working way that's the most important you can see what I am doing and what you're looking at yeah after we tied with the hand and now we tie it in back reasonable tight with the ratchet you don't have to do it very tight and you can't leave it loose either I don't know what is a specific Newton for this but 
I just do it with my hand, I just judge it myself. Now we put in the coil back. Just push them in and make sure you slide them. You slide the nib into the hole. You see that hole? Yes. Just slide it in like that. And no screw again, no screw or anything. You just have to slide it in. And the rubber, really, the rubber on the top of the coil is hold it firmly and nicely. So it's no issue there. Slide them one by one like so. We have one, another one, the third one. Now is this one yet? Try to clean it a little bit before we put it in. Slide it again. Now we have all done. Now we're going to connect the cable the power cable yeah these two screw we have to take them away it's just it was an hour away when I was trying to clean but you don't have to take them away uh, there was holding uh, some wire and the uh, bracket wire one is 10 millimeter uh, not uh, bolt sorry and another one uh, star head screw just take them out so we can hover the place I'm just putting them back but you don't you, you, di you didn't have to do them if you are just replacing the spark block but if you want to do the same and take them out and remove the cable bracket just to give you room you get in you can get in with your hoover that's fine otherwise you don't have to do that if your hole is cleaning and you can see and it does inside around the spark plug hole you don't have to remove them at all in my case I had to just to do a bit of clean and now after tightening these two screw we replace the this clips again and make sure they are tight and you hear yeah you hear the click when you push them in again just clean little bit around and then just push it until you hear the click and now yeah just make sure that everything in place and now the job done it's very easy job and uh, really important to do now thank you for watching and see you in another video thank you